Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to this episode of Cheapers Off Grid Ways, Homestead in the Desert. Did I say that right? I may not have, because I'm on my second beer. Anyway, just sitting down, I took a break here for a little while, because I've been up and down ladders all day, and I'm a little on the tired side. So, i got to get things put away here. I've got my... Um, finish nail are out, my air compressor out, and then over there I got the paints and the uh, drywall mud and all of the tools sitting there and the ladder and I got my screw gun up on top and um, next is going to be cleaning and organizing these shelves here and putting things where they belong because today I wasted an hour and a half looking for this finish nailer and uh, I found all the nails without a problem but I could, couldn't for the life of me remember where in the heck I put the nailer. I found it was tucked underneath the bench uh, behind the uh, metal bandsaw. So when I put this away it will go in its proper position so I know where to get it next time. All right so let's see what I got done here. All right look at this. I painted the crown molding with that uh, $9 gallon of paint. It turned out to be kind of a light gray. At first I thought it was a, like a powder blue, but then I found out that uh, as it dried, it's just a light gray. So that's fine. So I got it painted all the way around, as you can see. All right, so what else did I do? Well. I installed the baseboard all the way around as you can see it goes in behind there and I've been putting stuff back where it belongs I had to pull everything out of the room to to get this stuff done the other thing I did was underneath there I never had a complete kick plate uh, like I did over here under the base of the cabinets meeting the floor and so I did install that before I put the uh, baseboard in uh, that's what I got going that bag right there in case you're wondering is full of crushed eggshells uh, I have eggs every morning and I save the shells and crush them all up fine and I'm saving them up in a bag and then when I uh, turn the garden soil over I'll be mixing all of that in for next year's growth all right so I also got my stuff hung as I wanted, as you can see, and uh, Sherry, the secretary, mentioned that she had taken a couple of um, low-priced curtain rods and hung those up with S-hooks. Well, I had uh, these actual stainless steel hangers that are designed just for hanging utensils. I had these in my um, storage in one of the shipping containers from the last kitchen I had in the hot last house I lived in. And I'd taken them all down and threw them into a box and I couldn't remember where they were but I went out this morning and I found them. So I got all that stuff all hung nice and neat and uh, makes it real easy to get the stuff that I need when I'm doing cooking. These are just the basic stuff that I use all the time. So that's a good thing. Watching the weather here on Newsnet. And uh, yeah, I like it. It's real nice. So basically, except for putting a few more things away and then uh, washing the floor, I'll, I'll be I'll be doing a good scrub down on the floor. Everything in here is done. Uh, I did also get the door casing on around the door, and that makes that nice. So look at the temps for today. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was warmer than that. It was almost a hundred today, and uh, 
I've had things running all day long to try to keep cool in here while I was working. So anyway, I'll be uh, working on big cleanup tomorrow. I'll get everything put away and move on to the next project. And I'm not sure exactly what that's going to be, but I do have to get the uh, winter roof on Tomcat's condo before winter comes. I got the rafters up there, and I was thinking about maybe changing the design of the roof a little bit, but I don't know. I'll see how that goes. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Don't forget thumbs ups. Don't forget to share and subscribe. This is G-Bear, thanking you for watching my episodes and signing off.